Everyone knows about HTML, hypertext markup language, and maybe fewer people know what XHTML is or was. Can you explain quickly the difference between XHTML and HTML? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, first, there was HTML, and that went all the way up to HTML 4.01, I think was the, the complete version number. Um, and then there was XHTML. HTML is the markup language that actually creates the structure of your document. Um, and it's important to remember that HTML was created originally as a document markup language for creating like academic documents. So there was, in the original standard, there was a very limited number of things you could do. There were headings and paragraphs and lists and it wasn't meant to form really beautiful graphic documents. And, it got hacked a lot, and then finally a bunch of people got together, formed a consortium, and decided to make a better standard. Um, and a bunch of other languages have also come out that are similar to that, XML being one of them. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, which is sort of like HTML, but you can make it whatever you want. If you want a tag called Bucket, you can make a tag called Bucket, and then you define what that tag does. It's like Code Plato. Right. XHTML is sort of a marriage between the two. It's got stricter rules. A lot of the newer browsers conformed to it. They followed all the rules. It made more sense, what we call semantic meaning. Meaning if you looked at the document, a well-formed XHTML document, you could read it and probably understand what it is that the person was trying to do. Because there's divisions and paragraphs and bullet lists and if it's well-formed, it's easy to understand what it is. Before there was well-formed documents, we had what was called tag soup, where there was just boxes all over the place and things where they didn't belong, and it was a giant mess, and it was really hard to understand and, and to fix if you had to go in and make a change. Um, now the new standard is HTML5. They've gotten rid of the X, and I don't really know all the details. It's, it's looser than XHTML. It's not as strict, but it... At the same time, it has more semantic tags um, because we've been doing things like we'll create a box and put an ID on it of nav. And that's almost a generally accepted standard across the industry. You almost always see a box that says nav as its ID. HTML5 actually has an element called nav. So now you don't have to create a new a, a div and give it an ID of nav, you just create a nav document or you create an article element or For so it video, gives audio. It, right video audio it gives the document a lot more meaning and it makes it even easier for us to put things together in, in a meaningful way which should translate to better search engine results uh, as well since the search engine's ability to interpret then where the actual meat of they're already working towards that but it should make it even easier on them to say oh this is the actual body content Thank you for not making me, you know, place so much importance on just the nav or just the footer.